welcome to another episode of PC Cafe. High end coffee experience. <laughs> we do way too many shows, so we can't we remember do. the name. All right, so we're back again. This is our third episode of uh, DC Cafe, and this week's coffee will be from Black Rifle Coffee Company, and it's going to be the Blackbeard Delight. And what price range is this one in? Uh, this one now is uh, seventeen. We did fifteen last time. This mm -hmm. one's now seventeen. This is seventeen dollars off of Amazon. Not very budget friendly per se. Yeah, it's not. But I mean, it's not the point of the show. That's right. <laughs> we're trying. High to, end. We're High trying end. to see if if the expensive stuff is really that much better. So that's what we're going with uh, this week, mm -hmm. and that's what we'll be testing out. Okay, fix the set. And as I we work. Break. All right, so I guess it's time. What's that? <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? Yeah. Let's get it dripping. It's brew time. Or brew time. I'll never get this right. So now we'll wait for the coffee to get done. And as the coffee is uh, doing what it does, drip, drip. Uh, we will share a little information about Black Rifle Coffee. Yeah, company. we'll start with over with you. You give us a little insight on the company. All righty. This is actually a message from the founder and owner, who is Evan Hafer. I started Black Rifle Coffee Company to provide a high quality roast to order coffee to the pro 2A and veteran communities. Between deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan, I worked to refine both my coffee roasting skills and my firearm skills. I have spent over a decade researching coffee, refining my roast profiles, and of course, drinking what I roast. Black Rifle Coffee is quite literally the combination of my two favorite passions. I take pride in the coffee we roast, the veterans we employ, and the causes we support. Thank you. All right, and then uh, a little bit more about the, the Blackbeard's Delight Coffee. So this is also off of the, the here what he wrote. This is why I wanted to read this. This is funny. Uh, Blackbeard's Coffee Delight. On a dark, moonless night, mm -hmm. Edward Take visited us in a dream. He told us that the success of BRCC depends on the development of Blackbeard Roast, or he would haunt us until the day we joined him in Davy Jones's locker. <laughs> we decided it was in our best interest not to anger the ghost of Blackbeard, so here it is. Get your Blackbeard's Delight Roast made from 100% Brazilian beans and show the world that you're Pat. What's Pat? Pirate as boop. Boop. I had to boop. I ain't going As fluffer stuffers. Yeah, fluffers. Uh, so that is uh, what we'll be drinking today. Mm -hmm. And now we just have to wait for it to get done. And so you don't have to sit there and suffer through us like we do. We'll just go ahead and speed this up. And it's done. Now we get to try and see uh, how it stacks up to our rating. That's right. To our uh, fancy rating scale. So. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the uh, the raw taste test. Raw taste and test. Toast. Toast it, test it. Toast it, test it. There you go. Test it. Oh, wow, it's strong. That's really strong. And it's smooth. Very smooth. Oh, ooh. I don't like it. Toast it tastes like good. Dark roast. Like a good, solid, dark roast coffee. Like a very good dark roast coffee. Man, we gotta start having bad coffee. All right. <laughs> Why? Why would we ever want to do bad coffee on this show? Right. This has to be. Um, what else were you ever gonna purchase? As of right now, a seventeen dollar coffee. We would never dream of spending this much money on a little bag of coffee. Right. I want a tub of that. This is like what we would spend a month worth of cheap coffee. But honestly, I think it's worth it. I can't wait until we add the sugar now. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so let's go ahead. Uh, that burnt like the back now, of my isn't throat. there something about veterans um, that is heavily connected to this? 
Yeah, this guy was a veteran, and he actually, uh, he used to take this with him. When he, uh, not this, not the, the black beard, but his black rifle uh, coffee, he used to take over to like Afghanistan and stuff, and he used to give it to the troops. So this is like the coffee a lot of them got to have while they were over there. I thought that was a good perspective. So I bet a lot of veterans were like really appreciate this because they have that coffee that you had overseas. It almost tastes like a good like coffee. That too. Oh yeah. It's got that real good wake up outside. Mm, early yeah. in the morning. It's crisp and you sit around There's a fire. Some dew. Yeah, you sit around a fire and drink some coffee. Oh yeah. This is that coffee. All right, now let's. This is that kind of coffee. Let's do the uh, sugar test. Toast it and taste it. Honestly, it didn't change the flavor of this one. No. Yeah. I was expecting <laughs> something and nothing happened. Uh, and I was playing it off. I was like, that didn't change at all. I was waiting to see your reaction. I was like, oh, thank God. It's not just me. No, it's identical. Just, mm. And I put three spoonfuls in it. So do I. I don't even taste the difference. And it tastes exactly the same. Wow, that holds its bitterness. Mm -hmm. If you like a good bitter coffee, this is very, very, very good for you. The sugar does not affect it whatsoever. Sugar does point. not sweeten it at all. It almost makes it like it's stronger. It almost puts a strength behind it. It's very good, though. However, it's just, it didn't do it Wow. Didn't, there must not be any kind of sweet notes in it. Nope. This it's is just coffee. straight dark rose coffee. This is as pure dark as dark roast could be. That's why I like it. I have never tasted just pure dark roast before with nothing else added in or, or included in or to take that bitterness away. A lot of them like to add the, the sweet notes so you don't taste that bitterness. Yeah. So it kind of hides behind the sweetness. But, but with this, like this is just raw. This is yeah. like you don't. This is not for your frappuccino drinker. No, this ain't for millennials. <laughs> this is not have, for millennials. There. Um, however, it's very... Um, wow. It's very I don't know if that changes my opinion on it, though, in a weird way. What do you mean? Because I like... I almost feel like I needed something sweet added to it to take it. It's almost too strong. The more I drink it, the more I feel like it's becoming too strong. Hmm. The flavor, like that, that, that punch it has, it's like almost too... I mean, it's... Tastes like your and, grandpa's hair on your chest coffee. Yeah, this will put some hair on your chest right here. Wow. It's smooth. It's smooth, but it's man, bitter. it punches you. It's smooth, but bitter, but bitter in a good way, but. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to add another spoon. Just maybe wonder if it's like you need maybe one more than you normally do. Or is it just, let's just control test here. Or do you think milk will change the flavor? Wow. Whew. That Make punches milk you. Would bring it down. I, you know, I don't know what it'll do. The milk turn into cottage cheese or something. My I'll God. Say, it would put hair on the milk though. It'd probably be more cow you put milk in there. Okay, I changed a little bit. So you have to put a half a pound of sugar <laughs> right. per cup. Try another spoonful. It's now starting to take the edge off of it, but now there's four <laughs> scoops of sugar in it. It's way more sugar than I like to use, but man, it's a game changer. Not much. But there's no calories. Try it like that now. It's still there. It's just now I taste that and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we think. All right. All right, Blackbeard. Calm down. We like your coffee. Good. Oh, gosh. Now it's the spirit of, of Blackbeard oh, knocking over our sugar ball. Maybe he's telling us to add more, or he's telling us to do something completely different right now. Or it took so much sugar out of the bowl, it took all the weight out of the bowl. Or we can just be make up stupid stories that nobody's going to believe. I can't do nothing with this. It keeps falling. Stupid stories that the spoon knocked it over. Now they just, it's Blackbeard. So anyway, you ready to write this? Yeah. Let me move this back over here. Now. Or you want to cover our sugar? Sure. There we go. All right, so. Wow. It is strong, though. I feel it kicking in. Are you going to do it in the front? I'm trying to cover up the sugar. Oh, okay. We'll do yeah, them like yeah. this now. All right. Oh, yeah. 
Is it close enough? Or are we going to come back? And we'll flip it. Open. We'll flip it. Here, come back here. Honey, uh, I can't. There's sugar there. <laughs> Where my pot usually sits. Where my pot usually sits. Makes you feel better. There. Do, do you feel better? Because I th have no change in how I felt. Yeah. All right. So, whew. hold on. One more. Let's see. Where did we go? I like being tortured coffee. That's that coffee. This coffee. Torture me coffee. Mm. I was thinking when I added sugar, mm -hmm. it was going to change it to that. Like, you're like, ah, there's the coffee. You're like, no, it just punched you in the face harder. And filled. So I actually feel like I'm going lower than I originally was. Actually, adding sugar changed my opinion and made it worse. It says it's got baker chocolate in it with a smoky odor. <laughs> she ain't got no chocolate in this. No chocolate. That ain't no chocolate. There ain't no this. chocolate in this. Oh. I go to 10. It changed my opinion. I like the coffee. It's a good, strong, dark roast coffee. But to me, that bitterness is almost too much. Mm. I know a lot of heads are going, you know, weenie. I, so? <laughs> Judge me. <laughs> I don't care. I don't like it this bitter. I like bitter coffee, but this may be a little over my line as it, when it comes to bitterness. I like it, but the bitterness is too strong, so therefore it goes from a 12 down to a 10 due to that. I was ready to go all in on 12 at the first drink. First drink, I was like, wow, this is an impressive coffee. I'm going to add the sugar, and then the flavor notes are going to come out. No, it was just more bitterness came out to play. So I had to dock it down to a 10. Hmm. And I take another drink. Guys, I complain about it. Yeah, it does. It almost, I don't know. I definitely need to lower mine. All right. Wow. I taste something now. There's a back taste on it. Maybe that, it's that chocolate. It ain't chocolate. Baker's chocolate. <laughs> Bitter? Chocolate. Maybe that's why all this bitterness is coming to play, because it's bitter chocolate. See, you're knocking it for what it's supposed to be. But for me, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It, it, it lives up to it. But when it comes down to how I feel about it, no, it's a 10 out of 12. All right, and just because of the amount of sugar I have to put in it, and I'm usually a 3 spoon of milk and milk with anything. Um, you already feel like it kind of docks you that even you had to yeah. increase the sugar levels just to kind of help with the taste? But I like the raw taste. I'm almost wondering if it tasted better without the sugar. I'm wondering it too, if the sugar just makes it. If this is just a pure black, it's supposed to only be meant to be black coffee. Because I almost think it was a sugar milk coffee at first. That's where I was at. Like, I like it. It's strong. I feel like it's working. So I'm going to go just one under you. <laughs> go ahead and know. Wow. There you go. We're calling it that. And now I'm not saying no when you're disturbing. All right. So that gives you a 9 out of 12. I gave it a 10 out of 12. That puts it at like a 9.5 between the two of us. So yeah. out of 12 collectively, we give it a 9.5. So it's, not, it's still not a bad score whatsoever. It's, it's not good. a bad score, but I think it it's technically the lowest. Yeah, so far. So we went up, and it's going down. So now it's starting to get interesting. Now is it like you have to have a different palate for the the higher end coffee? Maybe is there more like high end palate? Yeah, caviar. more of a high end caviar. You know what I mean? Like, is our palate just not built for more expensive coffee? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll have to find out as this show continues on, right here on the DC channel on YouTube right. with the show known as. High-end coffee experience. And don't forget to subscribe and check out our videos. Oh, what? And we'll see you next week for another episode.